Hello, my name is Mario, and I'm at the Los Angeles Film School. Just growing up in Detroit, Michigan, I got the chance to be around a lot of the uh, originators from like the R&B sound, from like the Motown sound. So it's always just been kind of like fascinating for me. And then after I wound up joining the military, I wound up getting stationed in San Diego, where you're just so close to seeing like all the celebrities in and out of town like really fast. And a couple of friends of mine wound up getting into the promoting industry and started out their own clubs. And the clubs started picking up, and I was always giving them music and. They kind of just started throwing me on the stages, which led to opening up for popular artists like Pusher T and uh, Lil Kiki from Texas and Lil Kim and several other big artists. And then I just wound up wanting to take it to a broader scale. Wound up coming to Los Angeles after some Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Ran into the uh, LA Film School and while I was having a business meeting at the um, Chicken and Waffles, I wound up just getting a couple of offers to do a few shows in the LA area. So transiting back and forth from San Diego to LA, I just kind of felt like I just kind of outgrew the San Diego scene because it was like no real industry there, even though they had industry connects, but no real mainstream industry like LA. So hotel to LA and chase my dream. ICE is more of the executive side of things. I'm gonna pass that over to my manager, Han G. The reason behind it all, definitely. I was running with ICE-T and still am since, um, I was a teenager. My brother's his DJ, DJ Evil E, since his kind of launch to being that professional on the music side. So we ran with him before the record deals, and um, my brother and I were the street part. And no, I, Ice T actually was the hustler pimp player, like the West Coast, the Perm, and what have you. And my brother and I was the East Coast guys that came over here, and we put that together, East and West, and created the Ice T brand. My Mario and I met. Um, when he was at the film school to a young lady named Christina that was from the film school. So um, he and I connected more so, and I seen his talent because he came ready-made with music. And that was kind of rare for somebody to just come to Los Angeles and have a couple of celebrities on, featured on their record, so he was working hard. So what I've done with him what, was basically showed him that the route the, that was beneficial towards his career. So since he's in his 20s and what have you, we have a school tour, so we tried him out on a school tour, and he dominated, and a lot of the ladies like his style. So the ladies buy records, they're the ones that hit his social network and what have you, so right now he's on the singing direction, but he can rap, and we met, and he's been running with me, he's met just, I mean, everyone that touches the West Coast within hip hop and music behind the scenes, which are Dr. Dre's and your Snoop Dogg's the other day, Warren G the other day, you know, against Cool Keith the other night, you know, just a bunch of rappers. So he's now in the music industry, bubbling up via the discipline and respect he got from the, his military and LA film school. And he put it together with the streets from his Detroit thing and with me, with my, you know, with relationships and history. So he's becoming the Mario Taylor that he should be. Shout out to all of my staff members here that show love. All of the students that I went to class with is still love. I mean, you know how to reach me. I'm just blessed to be in this opportunity. I wish you all nothing but the best. And just believe in yourself, set a goal, set checkpoints, and you'll reach that goal. I promise you, man.